Hello everyone and welcome back to AOR Season 12 on PS4. You join us for Round 3, the Chinese Grand Prix. My name is Shane and joining me back in the commentary box once again is Dan. Yeah, after the Bahrain Grand Prix where we saw a very dominant victory for Jim Nervo Tank, we've come to the Shanghai International Circuit for Round 3. This track is an absolute killer on tyres where we could be seeing a free stop being the optimal race strategy, but tyre wear doesn't matter for one lap pace, so it's time for the qualifying report. So you join us for this race's qualifying comparison between M Thorne's Haas on the left and Alex's Red Bull on the right. Both drivers very closely contested for qualifying and you'll see just why as they both go into turn one. Very similar lines from both but M Thorne opting for second gear in the earlier part of the corner but both eventually going down to second for the second turn and you can see on the exit of the corner though M Thorne chopping away at the wheel. Alex has got a very nice smooth exit to that corner and so as we come up towards the end of sector one you'll see Alex is just just marginally ahead of M Thorne going into the second sector. M Thorne losing the back end a tiny bit as he slides through a bit more compared to Alex as they go on now to the swooping long left hander and then right you're going to see Alex taking a lot more of a tighter neater line as M Thorne goes a little bit wide here but crucially he opts to keep his car in fourth gear going into Alex going up into fifth just before the double left hander this allows M Thorne to get a bit of an earlier turn in plant the power a little bit earlier a bit more aggressive on the revs there on the engine so we come up to the second sector split under braking as well you're going to see M Thorne gains back any sort of margin Alex had on him and you can see there on the apex very, very level here right now for this lap so far. As we come through this swooping right hander, which will take us on the back straight again, you can see a difference in gearing between Alex and M Thorne. M Thorne dragging out the fourth gear and fifth a little bit longer. As we come down the back straight, it's all calm now. The drivers can relax and focus on that braking zone down to the hairpin. But as you can see, top end speed is with Alex at this point, and M Thorne's a little bit behind. But again, under braking, M Thorne's able to get a bit more time into that apex. Locks up a little bit, but keeps it really tight on the exit as well. And so at this stage, both drivers very equally matched once again one more corner separates them till the end of the lap bit of a lock up from M Thorne that doesn't phase him and so as we come through to the end of the lap this is going to be the difference between P2 and P3 here at AOR China only one tenth in it. So thank you very much Dario for that qualifying comparison. It was Jim Nervo Tank who took another pole position in his Renault with a lap time of a 134.2 taking pole by again over four tenths. It was M Thorne in second with Alex third in the Red Bull. Ali K took a very strong fourth in his McLaren with B Colt in fifth and B Mu in sixth. RBOS was the second Haas with Big C in eighth, Dan the Snake in ninth, and X Mayor Madness ran out the top ten. All drivers once again below X Mayor Madness will have a free choice of tyres, which is even more crucial at this track where the Super Soft really isn't a good race tyre. It was GR Demon in P11. It was MB Arubin in 12th with Desimplay setting only one lap in qualifying on the soft tyres, choosing to start down in P13 even though he probably hadn't a chance to get within the top 5. Big Shot and Jim Aresi also chose to do the same tactic. It was Theo in P16 with Jonas in P17. Kian also only did one lap in qualifying and qualified down in P18 with Mazias rounding out the grid for China. Our boy was still unable to attend and now it's time for the Chinese Grand Prix. Here we are ready for the race here at the Shanghai International Circuit where it's quite an overcast day this afternoon but no rain is expected. So Dan, do you think Nervo Tank can convert his third pole of the season into victory today? Well he's certainly got the pace but there's quite a few fast guys starting outside of the top 10 and arguably on a much better race compound so I think it's going to be really interesting to see how the strategies play out today. Here we are then on the grid. We've got three lights, four lights, five. Lights out, away we go. RBS looks like he's jumped the start there. He's got an absolute flyer. And uh, now uh, we've got Ali K up the inside into turn one. And uh, we've got Alex on at the outside. RBS must have jumped the start there. He's gone wide through turn two. And uh, Ali K's come back up the inside into third. Alex is still there on the outside as Nervo Tank leads. Then we've got M Thorne and then Alex. And uh, now we've got contact behind us. RBS goes spinning round. It's been a dreadful start for the Haas driver. And uh, now he's down at the back in 16th place as we've got Nervo Tank still in the lead on the exit of turn 6. And yellow flags waving in the background. So that looked like a pretty messy start there. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but Beacolt has been disqualified from the session almost on like the fifth red light. So really don't know what's happened in behind, but 
What we do know is that Nerva Tank still leads this race. Alex currently in at P3, so the top three have all maintained position. I think Alex has also qualified in fourth as well. So, um, a pretty decent start for the top four. They'll be looking to put in some good lap times now on their super soft tyres and hopefully try and pull a gap because they'll need to pit within the first three or four laps. Yeah, we think uh, it's going to be very touch and go with two stops. Uh, we'll th we think guys outside the top ten will be uh, more likely to go for that strategy as it is on paper the quicker strategy uh, but we'll have to see as the super soft will not last long down here as Bumi has a look up the inside of Ali K down into the hairpin and uh, now we've still got pretty much the orders we left the grid up front apart from obviously Biko and RBOS who's dropped back to last place so over the line then as uh, this, we can see this massive train coming through the last corner. Another tank stretching his legs out in front and beginning to pull away and leave the pack for, de uh, for dead as he did in Bahrain. Uh, and now we are looking at uh, BMU right behind uh, Ali K once again as we've got Alex up ahead trying to look and get past the Haas of M Thorn as BMU loses the back end on the exit of turn four but doesn't lose any positions to the cars behind as we head into the apex of turn six. Yeah, it's been a quite decent start for uh, Nervo Tank out in front. Already pulled a gap on M4 and now Alex is kind of getting impatient behind the Haas driver. You can see the Renault driver already pulling out a, a decent sized gap actually and this is what happened in Bahrain. He was able to extend his lead in the first stint and no one was able to catch him back up. So I think Alex is all too aware of that and he's trying to find a way past the half driver, but saying that, he's just lost a bit of time through those couple of corners, so I don't think he'll be able to find a way past n on this straight, but um, yeah, looking good for the Nervo Tank at this early point in the race. Yeah, just looking at the minimap um, briefly there, we had uh, a yellow flag and a lot of cars clustered in one area through the apex of turn eight, and uh, one, I think Big Shot has retired from the race, so I think there may have been an accident, but uh, hopefully we'll get a replay of that Later on, as we still got BMU trying to have a go down the inside of Ali K, who's maintaining four plates at the moment, very doing a very good job in that McLaren. Here we are on board with the Mercedes driver running wide on the exit of the last corner, but uh, Ali K is doing a very good job in that McLaren at the moment, and uh, he's been very quiet in the first two races. He's had uh, pretty good results, obviously finishing in. Uh, fourth in the last race in Bahrain as well and currently in that position right now as we've got Big C uh, finally doing something in this league at the moment right behind as well maintaining the gap uh, to these cars these top five cars at the moment and uh, Alex is definitely dropping back from the house of uh, M Thorn at the moment as we now have an on-board replay of the start here we go with RBOS oh his five red lights go out very early compared to everyone, everyone else's and doesn't even touch b -Cult on his screen and on b -Cult's screen he gets a massive thump from RBOS and for some reason unfortunately gets disqualified. Yeah that is completely bizarre so um, RBOS has clearly had a lag start and gained a massive advantage. We saw this Ooh. in Australia. Oh god! And well Arresi has come straight across the Mano of Theo and put him in the wall. Okay. That, yeah, I mean, I, for me, that is a slam dunk penalty. He's just come across the manor and put him in the oh. wall. Not really what you want on the debut. And Jonathan has just gone a bit hot into turn two there. There was an ever-closing gap. And, uh, well, he has lost, I think, well, he doesn't mean he's lost any, he's not got any damage, but he's lost a bit of time. But uh, now back on board at the end of lap three. We're on board with Ben. And I think we could be seeing a few guys coming into the pits. Is that indeed he, do, he does? And uh, now you can see race control, an incident involving Theo and Jim Maresi is under investigation. And for me, that is a definite penalty for the Ferrari driver. I completely agree. He just swiped right into the side of the manor. Uh, so that will be a stonewall penalty for Maresi, we think. And uh, a pit stop as early as lap three for two cars. So they're definitely going for a three stop. There's no way they'll make it to the end on two more stops. So also uh, worth out, uh, sorry, worth pointing out that uh, Mayhem Madness through turn four was completely 
just ghosted through RBRS, and yet on RBRS screen, uh, RBRS's screen, he's just completely... Oh, my word, as Emthorn gets out of shape through turn eight. And now Alex is trying to look round the outside. Will he make the move? No, he doesn't. He has to back out of it on this occasion. But, uh, yeah, on RBRS's screen, he got a big thump on the exit of turn four and spun backwards into the gravel. And Jonas, as well, was just in the wrong time at the wrong place. A little bit too eager at the first couple of corners and just unfortunately tapped the back of another driver and spun round but uh, no, this battle here we've got for second at the moment is giving Jim Nervotank just the cushion he needs at the moment to cover off any undercuts and such if he is planning to do the three stop as Alex breezes down on the outside it's not even a competition really he's just breezed down the outside Emthorn still on the inside trying to get back up the inside but Alex leaves enough for him smartly and uh, that is the Red Bull up into second place. As Nervo Tank goes in, what will the rest of them do? Alex stays out, and Emthorn comes in, and uh, the Williams stays out as well. So here, we, here is Nervo Tank in the pit. So he's definitely looking for a three stop this afternoon. And uh, here we are with the pit stop from the Renault team. On go the soft tyres. He's been held by two cars in the pit lane there by, uh, I think, Ali K and the Haas of Emthorn and uh, he rejoins in 7th place in clean air critically yeah and I think Ali K has managed to get ahead of the Haas of Emthorn in the pit stop but uh, Alex has gone to lap 5 that's well very good tyre wear that the Red Bull is experiencing at the moment if he's able to stretch his tyres that long so I think that's going to put him in good shape towards the end of the race on some fresher tyres but now no they're tanked on the soft tyres so that is definitely a free stop strategy from there you'd have to go two mediums if you want any hope of going on a two stop but uh, yeah no they're tanked we've got a lot of time to make up on the guys that have started such as GRD men on the medium compound tyre and they'll be going very long in their first stint and so it's going to be interesting to see how much time Nervo Tank can gain on these drivers who are onto their fifth lap of their medium stint. Yeah it's worth pointing out as well that these two cars we've got here battling for third place GR Demon and De Simple both started outside the top 10 on the medium tyre. GR Demon was the first of those drivers to start outside the top 10 in 11th place as he's now under threat from the Simplay almost runs into the back of Big C and just manages to avoid the Williams driver he's going to get much better traction Big C is clearly struggling on those tyres and he goes straight into the pit and GR Demon runs wide and that's going to give the Simplay the chance to just drive clean around the outside and yes that does and that is uh, the lead actually uh, as well as Alex seems to have pitted as well from getting off those super softs uh, from lap 5 so now we have De Simplay in first and GR Demon in second. These guys can probably go to uh, lap 10 to lap 12 um, if, they, uh, if they're planning to do a two-stop strategy. But that, uh, that mistake at the last corner really cost GR Demon uh, which, uh, the lead there. Yeah, well it's cost him a bit of track position, but he probably only lost him about one or, well, half a second really in the grand scheme of things. He'll be able to get back within the uh, DRS and slipstream stream of the Mercedes driver and hopefully they can, well for their sake, pull each other along because um, they're going to really hopefully work together and to try and, uh, well, to simply take a very weird line through there, maybe a bit of a lag. But yeah, they've got to work together here. Use Ooh. the DRS. Oh my god! GR Demon deciding that the track isn't enough for him, extending massively there. But uh, I will eventually get the point out. They've got to try and use mm -hmm. DRS and Slipstream to their advantage to hopefully work together and pull each other along because towards the end of their medium stint, they'll be really struggling with tyre wear. On board with Alex, and he's come out actually ahead of Ali K and of, therefore M4 as well. So that extra lap on Zusov really worked out well for him. He must be experiencing very low tyre wear. So um, this could really work out for him. Maybe he. Considering he went to that vibe on the super soft and he's now on a set of mediums, I think he could be looking at a two stop strategy here. Well, it depends where he comes in for his next round of stops. Three stops we expect uh, anywhere from lap 12 to probably lap 14, 15. Yeah, so uh, like it'll that. be yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, when these people. This is going to be a fascinating afternoon. Hopefully, it's less chaotic than. Uh, Bahrain as we have a penalty for Aresi, uh, speaking of which is coming down the inside of RBOS and uh, up the inside that's a pretty clean overtake into the hairpin gets it stopped just about 
and that is Aresi up into 14th place but he does now have this 20 second time penalty hanging over his shoulders from that uh, start collision with uh, Theo which I, per I personally think is completely reasonable. Yep, and RBOS is back into the slipstream and DRS range of Jim Aresi. He goes up the inside, just about makes the move cleanly, and he's back up into P14, obviously trying to recover after that disastrous start for him. Where, well, it looked like he got into the lead, but obviously he then decided to let the people back through, probably a good decision, and then just got collected, unfortunately, in all of that. But back to the front, and GR Demon has lost a bit of time to Disimplay ahead of him, so Disimplay now with Clean Air is really starting to pump in some good lap times. Here we are, we've got uh, Mazai's in third then, and Jim Nova Tank in fourth. It's not looking too bad for him at the moment, it's looking really good for Alex because he's on uh, fresher tyres than the guys behind him and obviously in front of him. Uh, as we've got Jonas up in fifth place at the moment because he hasn't pitted obviously. And uh, he's now going to be passed pretty easily by Alex, who chooses to go down the outside. Uh, will he get it stopped for the hairpin? Uh, he does indeed, and Jonas just slots in behind very little point. Oh my word, as he loses the back end quite a lot on the exit of the last corner. There's no point uh, in Jonas fighting, as it isn't, even though they are fighting for fifth place at the moment, he's not really in an actual battle because he's a pit stop behind. As we did have a pitter there, I didn't catch who that was, unfortunately. But uh, we, well, we now know that uh, Jonas's teammate, RB, uh, NB Arubin, sorry, has uh, come into the pit, and uh, we've got Ali K right behind the Sauber at the moment. So uh, Ali K is looking good at the moment for a podium, I think, as this is a replay of uh, Aresi getting past RBOS down the back straight. Once again, a pretty easy move, that DRS uh, being very handy down the back straight. And uh, RBOS choosing to slot in behind the Ferrari. Yeah, and we've got Kian just behind, who's not having a great day in his Renault. Obviously, I think he stopped outside the top 10 as well. Already made a pit stop, so um, yeah, not looking too great for him. Don't really know what's happened to him uh, during the first eight laps of this race, but back towards the front and Alex currently in P4 so he's got Nero Tank and GR Demon and the Sim play ahead of him I think still now so um, it'd be interesting to see how long Alex can go on his medium tyres as to whether and then it'll sort of work out whether he's doing a 2 or a 3 stop but Nero Tank ahead of him is definitely on the 3 stop but now I've got a cluster of 3 cars Ali K trying to go past the style with the m is getting a double slip stream here down in towards the hairpin he's not got DRS from what I can see Unless he's not, just not got his thing up and sort of a, there on his hood. It looks very odd as to why he didn't get it. But nevertheless, Jonas was able to hold it around the outside of the hash driver into the final corner. And then the Salvo pits. And, well, he's on lap 8. If he goes to a set of mediums, that is probably a two-stop strategy for the Salvo as well. Mm. So, uh, well, I think he can, get, he can probably do another nine laps uh, on a soft tyre stint as well. But let's see, it looks like he's going on to the medium, so just completely ignore what I said. And uh, a 2.9 second stop, not the fastest in the world, but uh, it could have been worse. At least he's got all four tyres on his car. And he's rejoined behind Kian. Yeah, Kian not having a good time of it at all uh, around this track. He started in 18th place and we presume got caught up in one of the start incidents that we didn't see. So, uh, which might explain why he's so far back at the moment. But... Uh, that's kind, that's kind of, if you start more further down the back as he did in 18th, then uh, you're more likely to get caught up in an incident. Uh, as his teammate has been pretty clear of incidents so far this season, Nervo Tank, which is why he is currently leading the World Championship. But now here we are with M. Thorne, who is right behind Ali K, and the Haas driver is pretty keen to get the position back after losing it in the pit stop, as Dan said earlier. And uh, now, we are, now we are on board with him. Is he close? Well, he's close enough for the DRS, that's for sure. Is he close to make a move down into the hairpin in the slipstream? We go. He has a look up the inside. Does he go for it? Yes, he does. Pretty late on the brakes. Alike leaves room sensibly. They make contact. And uh, that has allowed Alike to get better traction, actually, as M. Thorne was losing the back end horrifically out of the hairpin. Now, will he have a go down into turn one as uh, BMU loses the back end in the background? And down to turn one, no, M. Thorne is stuck behind. 
yeah, I, I think uh, Ali Kay was very strong under the brace in towards the hairpin and was able to defend that position. But um, it looks like the half driver has got decent pace, was almost able to pull away from Alex in the early stages of that super soft stint. So he's probably quite disappointed. He's dropped back from the Red Bull driver, but he'll now try up the inside of the McLaren driver, maybe into turn six, decides to get that one. Probably a wise idea because it'll be much easier on the back straight with Slipstream and DRS and he should be able to fly past considering how close he is now as they fly through this middle sector on board with the hash driver now getting very close to the rear diffuser of Ali K there but um, no way past into that section of corners getting a good exit though from there can he maybe have a look up the inside here he has a look but decides against it once again a good idea as you can see he's currently down on his previous lap so this all this battle is definitely costing them both time to Alex and Nervo Tank who are pulling out a very good gap at this point now and uh, well it's rich mix for Enfon now he'll get the slipstream and DRS down the back straight Ali K defends the inside line very heavily and but I think Enfon might be slightly ahead going into the braking zone if he can hold it round the outside no oh, gosh Ali K says no you're not going around the outside of me Defends very robustly, but probably quite fairly. It's probably just on the limit, but I will consider that fair. And he holds on to P5 at the moment. Just in the background there, it looks like Ben's really struggling with that last corner. He's either oversteering out of it or just clean running off the track. So not quite got the hang of that last corner at the moment. Here we are on board with him, speak of the devil. And uh, it's definitely catching up to the two ahead because they are battling. I think they are battling for effectively third at the moment, depending on, well, depending on how uh, the pit stops shake up. But uh, these two are effectively battling for third place at the moment. And uh, Ali K just lets him through, it looks, uh, there. So um, I wonder if that was for the hairpin incident. But uh, we don't know at the moment. But uh, being mute is uh, looking quite heavy on his tyres, actually. Already getting up to 65%. And he's already made a pit stop, so uh, that's pretty uh, concerning for him. So we might have to switch from a two-stop to a three-stop. And uh, as there's a little bit of debris through turn eight there for uh, reasons that we don't quite know yet. But uh, can Ben get close enough for the DRS on Ali K? We've just panned away, unfortunately, so we can't really tell you that. And um, M Thorn, you can now see how much faster he is. He's pulling away from the McLaren driver and uh, making headway in front on the Red Bull of Alex. Yeah, as you saw with uh, Ben's tyre, already up to 65%. That just shows how much of a good job to Simplay and GRD are doing out in front of this race because they still haven't pitted on lap 11, so they're doing very well on the tyres. And is that in the background? Nervo Tank pitting. Already? So let's just put this into perspective. Um, GR Demon is in place, haven't made one pit stop in this race on well, onto lap 12 now, and Nervo Tank is in for his second pit stop, clearly showing that effectively he's in in the race lead here, surely. Uh, yeah, I completely agree, because he's now he's now a pit stop behind the top two. That is really uh, surprising, and uh, he's gone on to the super softs as well, which is really puzzling okay we're really puzzled up here because normally you'd think about going to we kind of expected super soft 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 medium for a lot of the guys who were planning to do a three stop but if he can make those last for he's got to make those for set he's got to make those last for about seven laps to make that worthwhile and i don't think the super soft even a fresh set will last that long as we now have alex in third place, doing a very good job on his tyres, only 48% at the moment. So he can go probably another three or four laps, which might put him in range for a two stop. So he might be okay actually in third place. Uh, Emperor, we, we don't know behind. So this is this is going to get really confusing. Yeah, and you can see on the minimap, the Simplay and GR Demon are quite ahead. Quite a way ahead of the pack that are on the free stop. So looking good once again for them. But uh, back to P13 with Jonas who has caught up to Kean. Obviously don't really know what's happened to Kean in this race. Whether he's just got a lack of pace or you know has had an unfortunate few incidents along the way. But um, the Salva has caught up to the Renault driver getting the DRS down the back straight. I mean he's gaining a hell of a lot in towards the braking zone. Will he be able to have a look? No, he won't, but once again, gaining more time under braking. So I think Kean's tyres 
really starting to look beyond their best now, but um, heading towards the final corner. Will the Renault driver pit? No, he doesn't. He stays out. So the driver picks up a nice exit, but gets a lot of oversteer on exit. Nevertheless, he's going to use Rich Mix and the DRS. Can he find a way past him towards turn one? No, he can't. There's some more pitters. M4 has gone in for the pits for soft tyres, so he's definitely on a three-stop strategy. So, going to be interesting to see who else pitted on that lap, but now back to RBOS in P16 with x Man Madness just behind him on soft tyres. The Red Bull going up the inside of turn one, and he'll get that move done with very little issues. And the Haas driver has to settle back down into P16 because Fio has also pitted on that lap. And, uh, well, the Haas driver certainly wants to find a way past through uh, the exit of that corner, but there's no way through there. And as they head now up towards turn six, can he find a way past under braking? No, he can't. The Red Bull locks up quite a lot, though. And, uh, well, Red Bull holds position and should be able to now pull away on his soft tyres. Yeah, RB Rest doesn't seem comfortable because he seems very twitchy on the wheel at the moment um, as Mayhem Madness runs wide through turn 8. Uh, but it's also, see what I mean there, uh, RBOS just very, doesn't seem very confident in the car at all at the front end or the rear end. Uh, and it might just be on this compound, obviously the different cars suit different compounds. Um, but it also is worth noting that uh, we think Disimplay and GR Demon have pitted from 1 and 2 as Nervo Tank sets the fastest lap of the race on no super soft tyres. And uh, as someone else has come into the pits as well. So uh, here we are with RBOS uh, Mayhem Madness defend. This is for 15th place. So nothing really special. They're just battling for fun at this point. And RBOS goes deep into the hairpin. Oh my word. RBOS is, is really struggling with his car. Very too eager on that power coming out of the hairpin. And that has cost him DRS as well as we now have an, a replay of an incident on lap 2 so a uh, bit surprised we're getting it this late in the race if I'm honest but here we are going through 7 and 8 it's in play on the grass a big shot comes up the inside and oh ok Ow. and uh, oh Ow. that would explain why big shot had to retire because he, didn't, he, he uh, didn't have a front right tyre so this is going through turn 8 and the simply just clean and clean doesn't leave enough room. This is on board with Kian. There goes Big Shot. Oh, the two Ferraris. Oh, okay. That explains what has happened to Kian then. He got caught up on that first lap incident between the simply and Big Shot, which is now under investigation by the stewards. Uh, I'm surprised that's come this late in the race, if I'm honest, at half distance. But uh, hopefully that will be a uh, result very quickly but to me that looks like Disimplay has not left at all anywhere near enough room for Big Shot who to me personally uh, had the right to some space as Big Shot clears the Mercedes of Ben. Big Shot you mean Big C but yeah uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah I mean it's a difficult one I mean obviously on the first lap I think Disimplay was just focused on the car ahead didn't realise Big Shot was looking up the inside into that corner it's an unfortunate lap one incident, but I suspect to simply will get a penalty for that. But um, back towards the front now, and Jim Nerva Tank, and is that the Force India of GR Demon? Yes, it is. Well, he's, that is looking very good at the moment for the Force India driver who's doing that well. Alex still out on lap 15 on his mediums, so surely now he's looking at a two shot strategy, considering he's mm. gone. 10 laps on that set of mediums if we can go one more lap I suspect that is a definite two stop well he's on his 12th lap on this stint at the moment no he isn't sorry he's on his uh, 10th lap uh, I can't do maths very very good job uh, he's on his 10th lap at the moment because he pits on lap 5 so uh, here we are back on board with M Thorn down in 7th at the moment um, but yeah GR Demon and uh, Disimplay you have to say are looking very good contenders for the podium here this afternoon and uh, now we're on board with the struggling Mazais through turn 13 and uh, Mazais just pulls over to the right I don't know if that's to defend or just to clean let him through but either way it doesn't matter because M Thorne's got the better straight line speed better traction out of 13 and the DRS to help him so uh, he's going to have the move easily into the hairpin and up to 6th uh, place on to 
catch uh, the McLaren of Ali K, who looks like he's just coming into the pits on the mini map. So it'll be interesting to see what he does. Go uh, if he's going to medium again. He'll be going to most likely the end. And uh, here we are on board with the McLaren into the pit box. Let's see what tyres they are. They are the medium, so he's going to try and get to the end. And you can see how the strategies are funneling out now. New tyres, uh, surprisingly on this game, are not fast enough to make up the time. And that will be the difference. One less stop on this game, it will turn out to be crucial uh, from anything that we've seen in the first few races. As uh, MB Rubin up in 10th at the moment who we think has made just one stop so far. Uh, so this isn't ready for position as Ali K has a look up the inside, isn't confident enough to go down the inside uh, and he's going to be stuck behind uh, the Sauber for pretty much the rest of this middle sector and uh, we'll see if he can get past in the DRS zone. Yeah, as you said, it, you, you were talking about how it's crucial to make that one less pit stop. So drivers across the course of the season will be looking to try and find ways in their setup and also driving style, which will save the tyres. might hurt them in terms of one lap pace, but if that means that they can extend a stint by a few laps and uh, putting them on one less stop, that will be crucial in terms of uh, fighting for points. But uh, as you can see, Ali K probably getting a bit impatient now behind the Sauber. He's just losing time to the guys he was battling with earlier. Obviously, he's on a two-stop strategy as well. So it's key for him to get past the Sauber, opening up that DRS rich mix, and that will be him back up into P10. And now he'll need to chase down that pack ahead of him. Uh, that is Ben ahead of him at the moment. So Ali K spots a beautiful apex. Did that happen? Here we are on board with Ben, who does manage to do the last corner successfully on this occasion. Right behind Big C, who also is looking to do a three-stop at the moment. Nova Tank's pitted again! And he's come out right with Big C, and uh, he's down in seventh at the moment on the medium, so he's going to the end. And he's pitted again. That is really surprising. Really early as well on lap 16. So, uh, I wonder if Alex has managed to go longer, or whatever he or whether he's pitted on the same lap, as now Ben's trying to go down the inside of Big C at turn six, and they just about give enough each other uh, enough room to watch uh, each other, and uh, Big C holds on to eighth place for the moment. Beautiful racing there. Yeah, very uh, good defensive drive from Big C, able to hold it round the outside, and uh, just left enough space for the Mercedes, but he is clearly struggling on his times tyres is the Williams driver and Nervo Tank has caught up to the Sauber ahead of him but his strategy is very puzzling to me don't really understand what he's doing as Jonas goes defensive this is exactly what Nervo Tank doesn't need at this point but has gone deep there and this will allow Nervo Tank up the inside about much better traction and that's him up into sixth place but obviously he'll be going to the end now but the guys who well Alex will also have made his pits up around this time so oh, he's coming back at him oh Yes, he's, I said that, but he's got DRS, and now he's trying to look up the inside. No, he blacks out to that one, probably quite a wise idea, but Nervo Tank deep. goes deep, won't get the greatest of exits, but uh, should be okay if he gets a good exit from the final corner, and oh yes, Jones goes deep, so there's no chance now for Salva to get past, and Nervo, Nervo Tank back up into P5, but um, yeah, I think he could be really struggling here. I don't know if he'll be actually able to get onto the podium because I think they simply play uh, Alex and GR Demon all looking in a better position right now. Yeah, they're all on two stops at the moment because Alex has gone really long. There is Alex actually up in front of him. So Nurburgring is going to have to pass Alex if he wants to get on the podium here this afternoon. That's the way it's looking at the moment because GR Demon and the Sim play, the top two at the moment on completely different strategies are doing a tremendous job on their older tyres. And they won't lose that much time uh, because the fresh tyres on this game isn't as much as of an advantage as we're now on board with RBOS once again. Is he going to have a pirouette of some sort coming through? Oh, he's got a puncture. So, <laughs> and he spun off as well. So, he's gone from bad to worse for RBOS this afternoon. First, that, uh, well, it's not. it wasn't really a jump start. It was just the five red lights were gone out for him earlier than everyone else. And uh, then he had the run wide through turn two. Then he had the spin through turn four. And he's gone from bad to worse for the harsh driver. Not what he needs at the moment. And uh, Jonas coming back at Ben. And the Williams coming down the inside of Big C. 
and big seat back goes on the brakes really early as Jonas almost collects the Mercedes so Ben got past Jonas somewhere on that lap which unfortunately we didn't see so uh, now Jonas looking dropping back from uh, the Mercedes and under threat from the Williams behind of Big C and uh, Jonas doing a pretty good job on his tyres it has to be said I think having only done one stop at the moment um, so he'll be looking to pit in a couple of laps time for uh, super softs if he can make them last and at the moment we have uh, it's pretty hard to tell we have got a pit stopper in at the moment and you have to say for this race so far it's been pretty congested at the moment it's good to see the pack really close together obviously with the different strategies they will be closer together but it's still great to see nonetheless yeah i think we'll really see at the end of the race who has worked their strategy best and uh well i think it'd be the guys on the two stop who were able to qualify outside of the top 10 and start on the, either the medium or soft tires but um yeah, Jonas is doing well. For me, I'd recommend him going on to a set of soft tyres, as we saw with Nervo Tank. wasn't able to take his super softs very long at all. So, in probably at the end of the next lap, he'll probably come in for a set of soft tyres if he's got one left. Obviously, on this game, you get a limited amount of tyres, so um, he could be forced to go on to maybe a set, another set of mediums. Don't really know what strategy he has run so far, but uh, I think... Is that on the kind of Ali K just behind as well? So he's not looking too bad considering it. He should be going to the end on those medium ties. So he could be looking good for some more solid points. As we uh, ha here is the race, lead the race leader, and here is GR Demon. He has fallen back from this in play uh, at the moment, even though despite being uh, on the soft ties, this in play is on the medium. Here is Alex in P3, Nervotank in P4. And Nurburgring to me looks like he's dropping back slightly from the Red Bull. So uh, I don't know where Nervo's pace has gone all of a sudden, but he, he's not looking good at the moment. And he looks like he might be out of contention for a podium at this rate. And uh, as M Thorne comes out from his final pit stop, as Aretti's got a puncture on the left front, uh, from what we could see there. And Kian is up in tenth now, so recovering well. Here is Theo, who also had that first lap crash with Aresi up in uh, 11th. But obviously, uh, Kian and Theo, wow, very good save there from Jonas on the exit of turn four. Uh, all round of applause for that there, mate. And uh, yeah, Theo and Kian are, well, I think Theo for sure is out of sync at the moment from uh, that front wing damage at the first corner after Aresi swiped into him. So, all credit where it's due uh, Jonas uh, sorry Theo has done well to get back up into 11th but uh, it looks like it won't last long as Jonas is all over the back of him going to the end of the race on the new set of softs that he has available and he's going to have a look up the inside down into turn 11 is he late enough on the brakes yes he is probably wasn't the smartest idea as he might lose out with the DRS that Theo's going to get now on the exit of this corner and uh, you can see that Jonas has just got better traction coming out of the corner and here we go then, uh, Theo is going to get the DRS and surely he's just going to go back straight up the inside, is he? Yes he is, down the inside and he is coming in for a pit stop at the end of this lap so as I said earlier this isn't really for position but Theo is going to have a bit of fun while he can and uh, Jonas just clean out tractions him and expect Theo to go straight, yes he does, into the pits for his final pit stop and here we are on board with GR Demon at the moment on a new set of softs as he has just pitted because he's down in fifth so he's already back up to fourth passing Ben and uh, he's looking good can he catch Jim Nervo Tank with uh, seven laps to go at the end of this one I think, he's, I think he can he's got some much fresher soft tyres Nervo Tank isn't even that far up the road so yeah, I think he can definitely try and find a way past the uh, Renault driver. Back to Kian though, who's currently down in P10. Obviously, he's managed to work his way back into a point paying position, so he's not done too badly actually. And he's uh, catching up to the Torosa driver of Mazias, who uh, seems to be struggling slightly. He's been locking up into a lot of corners. But uh, yeah, Kian obviously got involved with that uh, lap one incident involving Big Shot and his sim player. He was just the very unfortunate bystander and uh, I think that cost him a lot of time I think he had to pit on lap one 
But uh, back to Theo, who's currently down in P15 with only X Mayhem Madness behind him as they head through the middle sector now. And uh, well, his Theo's just pitted, so he's got some nice fresh tyres, so should be able to pull away from the Red Bull driver. There you go, there is this confirmation that the end of the race will be dry. So we've got uh, pretty much flat out to the end now. Um, I think everyone has done their final pit stops, apart from De Simple, who's still leading the race out front. So he's still going along on his mediums. So I'm surprised he hasn't come in for a set of softs, because they will go to the end easily, unless he's planning to pit for super softs, which would be quite something. But uh, at the moment we are sticking on board with the, uh, sorry, Theo. And uh, as Mayhem Madness looks to try and gain that position, as this is for third to last place, so this is pretty much for pride more than anything. Uh, these guys may as well have some fun while they can. As, uh, as you can see on the mini map, they're quite uh, a long way off. And uh, Mayhem Madness goes down the inside into turn one. Pretty easy move for the DRS and Theo just leaves the gap wide open for the Red Bull to take and that is Mayhem Madness up into 15th. Yeah and uh, as you said on the minimum they've got a long way to go to try and get any points up. I don't think it will be possible for them today but back with Kian in P9 and he's caught up to Mazias who's on the move with tyres so we'll probably be going to the end so he's looking good to score his first points of the season as they head around this long banking trying to pull the throttle down and Kian's probably got quite a decent exit there. He will probably, yeah, he will get DRS going down this back straight. Can he make a move in towards the head? He's getting a lot of time in the slip tree. Will he be able to move, make a move up the inside? He has a lock. Matthias locks his front brakes massively there. And that won't hit, that will really hurt his tie wear. But uh, nevertheless, round the final corner. And Kian will be looking for a good exit. And uh, he could make a move up the inside in towards turn one. You, once again, using his Richmond, he's actually on the borderline for fuel, but up towards turn one. He goes up the inside, and uh, well, Matthias holds it round the outside, but drifts very wide, and uh, that is the Renault driver up into P8. Yeah, Matthias just wandered off the racetrack there through uh, turn one and two, as someone's gone off in front at the moment. Is that Ressi at the moment? I think it is, so uh, the. No, it's not, it's RBOS, he's had another pirouette. So, um, he is down in last at the moment and lapped. So, he is definitely going to be uh, last come the chequered flag, as here we are on board with him. Uh, what's he going to do, just lose the back end? Yes, he does. And, oh, he goes on the kerb, and round she goes. Yeah, it's been a pretty horrible day for the Haas driver. But at least his teammate is up in the points. And uh, RBOS choosing to stay off the racetrack while the cars pass, which is good to see as uh, this battle continues for 15. The uh, Theo down the outside with the DRS is going to have much better straight line speed. And surely he's going to have the braking grip. Yes, he does. Though Mayhem Madness can back up the inside. Very good defending, uh, defending that from the Red Bull. Covers off uh, the inside, then uh, runs the mana out of road and keeps 15th place although will he get him down to turn one let's have a look will he go defensive no he doesn't theo goes up the inside gonna Whoa. make it stick okay well mayhem madness left the door wide open there theo took it and then just the red bull just decided to close him off so that's uh, unfortunate to see as we've got the sim play now down in third on the super soft here's gr demon on the soft and Ali K in fifth at the moment as we're having a quick run down through the order. That must be a spectator cam glitch at the moment that we're having with the Ressi because on the spectator cam he looks like he's got a front left and yet yeah, he's going around at full pace. So that's just a spectator cam bug. As we can now see uh, Jonas still down in 11th place just on the cusp of a point as we're now back on board with the top three. There's the top three on the screen and we have a 10 second time penalty for the sim play. That's going to cost him horribly as the uh, Nervo Tank's already going defensive for the Mercedes driver. Going to come down the outside. He's got the benefit of Alex's slipstream as well on those super softs. And uh, the Simplay makes very light work of the Renault driver. He comes back down the inside, does he? No, he just manages to tuck back in for the Mercedes. 
And uh, De Simplo with so much more pace. You can see how much more traction he had coming out of the hairpin than the Red Bull. And uh, De Simplo, if he can get past these quickly, he might be able to still win this race. As he now, uh, Alex is going to stay to the right hand side. De Simplo goes round to the left. And uh, is he going to sweep round the inside? Uh, yes, he does sweep round the outside. And that's De Simplo up into first place. And uh, now we have Alex and Nervotank battling for second place. The two title protagonists at the moment fighting for second place. Every point counts towards this championship. The way it is right now, there's an eight point deficit, which will be, which will come down to, I think, five at the moment if Nervotank get, can't get past the Red Bull. But that's the Simplay up into first place. Now he's got to run, run, run away with the lead. Yeah, obviously De Simplay and, well, none of the drivers out there at the moment will know De Simplay's got that penalty. But uh, he is just going to push like nothing. I don't know what, what I'm saying. Words have, uh, words have escaped me. <laughs> but, yeah, De Simplay really needs to push now. He needs to um, pump in some very good lap times, which he obviously can do on that super soft tyre. And maybe hope that Alex and Nero tank start battling. And uh, it's also worth pointing out that uh, GR Demon just behind them is on some reasonably fresh soft tyres. So hopefully... For, well, Force India will be uh, catching up to these guys and maybe sneaking a podium. But down the back straight we go, and he asks where Nerva Tank's pace had gone at L about lap 15. He's suddenly found it again because he has he really caught up to Alex in these past few laps. Obviously, on maybe slightly fresher tyres. I don't really know, maybe one lap fresher tyres, but he has uh, Ooh, found he's some pace definitely. And Alex gets a very nice switch back on the Renault drive. They're going side by side in towards the final corner. Nova Tank will have the inside line, but this should allow Alex to get a much better exit. Should get better traction. Nova Tank squirming all over the place. Alex now with the DRS. He goes to the outside of turn one. Can he hold it round the outside of there? Indeed he does. That's a lovely move. Round the outside of turn one, and he holds on to P2. But what this is allowing to simply to do is run away with this lead and build up that 10 second gap that he needs. Of course, these two at the moment don't know that Desimplay's got a 10 second time penalty. So, uh, this is costing them literally the victory because they, d they, don't, they don't know. They don't know that he's got a penalty. So, uh, this is going to allow GRD Minnesota to catch up at a vast rate of knots on the softer compound as well. So, Alex is really struggling on those tyres now that are well past their best. They're 9 or 10 laps old at this stage. And Nova Tank is all over the back of him with two to go at the end of this one. So... This is going to be a fascinating ending to the race. We've got the simple out front with a 10 second time penalty. So he's going to be right in this group on the end of the last lap. As we're going to see the gap now in the top left of your picture. It's up to 5 seconds. He gained 9 tenths in that sector. And uh, another tank running wide through the apex of turn 11. That's going to cost him on the exit of this corner. And that's going to cost him uh, the chance to get past on this lap. But if he, if he can keep within that DRS and get good traction out of the hairpin then he's got a chance down to turn one yet. Yeah, he, he said Alex will be struggling on his tyres, but we've seen all race that Nervo Tank's tyre wear hasn't been good itself, so I think Alex will probably be looking in better shape on these last two laps. But uh, Nervo Tank, it, maybe is outside that DRS range. It's hard to tell, obviously, from Alex's perspective, but um, as they go on to the start of lap 27, has Nervo Tank got that DRS? I can't really work it out from this view yes he does he does so he's still within that one second window and uh, will have a chance well he's got probably got about two more opportunities down that back straight into the hairpin to find a way past this red bull driver and extend his championship lead sorry uh just uh, there was uh, on the spectator camera obviously we can see the gap on the last two games he's six seconds ahead he gained one second in the last sector uh, in the last sector alone did the simple on that previous lap so if he can keep putting in those kind of times he's still on the cards for a win here as we've got Ali K and Emthorn still battling uh, somehow they they found each other on the track once again and uh, Ali K in fifth at the moment Emthorn trying to close the gap to uh, the McLaren and here is Dan we've not seen anything from him this race he's had a very quiet race down in 16th so uh, I don't know how he's ended up there, but he isn't super soft, so he's probably trying to go for fastest lap or something special. And uh, here is Alex in second place. Where's Nova Tank gone? Nova Tank's dropped a long way back this lap. He's dropped a long way back and uh, dropping into the clutches of GR Demon. There he is. So uh, GR Demon might be looking good for this third place now if his tyres survive long enough. And uh, But we have seen earlier from the race at the start that GR Demon managed 12 laps on the medium. So uh, his tyre wear is looking absolutely fine 
Uh, so is Alex's. So Nervo Tank with the tire wear of a donkey at the moment. Really struggling for traction coming out of the hairpin as we head on to the last lap. This one plays well up the road now. And uh, he's, yeah, Nova Tank's definitely dropped back and he's 10.6 behind. You know what? Desimple could have this. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know donkeys had tire wear, but yeah, nevertheless, <laughs> uh, GR David is really catching up to the Renault driver and could possibly make a move on this final lap. He's obviously got to keep it together and he'll probably have one opportunity in towards the hairpin. But uh, I think the sim player has probably got this. Obviously, he'll have one last lap to pull that gap on Alex. And I think the Mercedes driver will be claiming the full 25 points here today. But it is obviously going to be a nail-biting finish. And oh. uh, Nervo Tank, what's happened here? He's just, let, he's just let the Force India through. He must have lost the back end massively. I don't even know what's happened there. But he's just let the Force India driver through. Yeah, I'm very confused by that. Surely, as the championship leader, you would have wanted to keep the position at all costs. And uh, Ali Kay's got a puncture on the last lap. He only had half a lap to go. That's going to cost him fifth place as well. That's tan That's horrible for him. And uh, M. Thorne is just going to try and cl drive clean past him, or is he? Because Aressi's right behind as well. Out of nowhere... Uh, Aressi up into 6th. Will he grab 5th by the end of this race? Uh, as we have a limping Ali K who has the whole back straight. That's going to be painful for him. And uh, you can see how much M Thorne's struggling with his rear tyres now. As he's on getting very close. I don't know if he was up to 80% now. I didn't quite catch. But Aressi is now going to have the DRS down the outside. And he's going to have... Will he have enough grip in the braking zone? Yes, he does. Uh, he's on super softs apparently. Uh, but on the timing screen, it says he's on medium, so that's very weird. So okay, he's on two different. No, he's, he's on a. He's, yeah, he's on a mixture of uh, medium and uh, super. I'm not. As, it oh. looks like Aressi's got a puncture at the final corner. M Ford's gone past him. How M Ford has not got a puncture on nearly 90% tyre wear? I don't know, but Aressi has got a puncture. Ali K got a puncture. Don't know where he finished in this race, but we're now back to the battle for P14. And Fia, obviously, after his uh, lap one incident, hasn't had the greatest of race. And now Dan is looking past the mana driver in towards the hairpin on the final lap. This is obviously just for pride between these two. Uh, they've also managed to work their way past X May and Mandis. Don't know what happened there. But uh, Dan, well, both of them locking up massively into the hairpin. But Dan will come away from P14. But yeah, I don't know how M4 really didn't get a puncture on that last lap, but his rivals did. I don't know. What a fantastic ending to the race. Dan comes home in 14th place as uh, Theo just runs out of fuel across the line. And here's our BOS then, uh, fighting with somebody, apparently. No, that, that, that's is, Alex. No, yeah, that's, that's Mayhem Madness coming up to lap him, isn't it? Is it? So, uh, it must be. Oh, OK. Because he's in, he's, he's in last. Oh, I thought it was Alex's car that had already finished the race. But it might be. Oh. It might be. I don't know. It, I th I think it's Mayhem Madness coming up to lap uh, the highest driver. RBS has really had to, a race to forget here this afternoon. Comes home in a lonely... Okay, that's a weird way to cross the line. Comes home in a lonely 17th place and he'll just want to move on to Russia as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, that was a very fascinating end to the race and the sim play does come home with the victory just two seconds ahead of Alex GR Demon with a fantastic result. Novo Tank for some reason letting him through on the last lap. He lost three and a half seconds as well in the last sector somewhere. M Thorne with a very average result for him by his standards comes home in fifth. Ben in sixth. Uh, Kian recovered to seventh so a terrific drive to get back to that position after what he had to deal with on the first lap. Jonas comes home in eighth. Mazais in ninth and NB Arubin in tenth. Aresi with that 20 second time penalty comes home in 12th. Big C ended up in 13th, dropping off at the end of the race. Dan, we didn't really get to see much of him today, doing four pit stops uh, in 14th. Uh, Theo coming home in 15th. Mayhem Madness and RBOS, the last two finishers. Big Shot obviously DNF'd after the first lap, and Biko unfortunately disqualified uh, off the start. So that makes the Drivers' Championship very close then. Two points between Nervotank and Alex to simply with that victory moves up to third. Kian drops down to fourth. Ali K dropping down to sixth. GR Demon moving up to seventh as Big Shot with that DNF drops down to eighth. Ben and B Colt rounding out the top ten. 
Jonas getting his first points of the season, moving up to 13th. Theo, 14th. Maya Madness in 15th. MB Rubin with his first point as well. And uh, Dan, Aresi, Nama, and our boy all still yet to score. So it's Renault who extend their uh, Constructors' Championship League to 33 points so ahead of Red Bull, who stay second. Mercedes move up to third after that uh, great performance from De Simple today, taking the full 25 points. Haas and McLaren both move down a position each. Force India move up to P6 after uh, GRD was able to claim their first podium of the season. And it's Mana, Ferrari and Williams and Sauber that round out the Constructors' Championship. So that concludes the Chinese Grand Prix for Season 12 on the PS4. Join us again in two weeks' time where it will be the Russian Grand Prix. And from me and Dan, goodbye. Bye.